Hey guys, this is GKCS. We are talking about a problem from the Code Chef October Challenge, very recent this time. Uh, and uh, what, what we have is uh, trying to find out a counter test for Chef Sum. So, what we are supposed to do is generate an array. Okay, standard stuff, generate an array, A. But what we have with us is a block of code. Okay, and what this block of code is doing is finding prefix sums. And suffix sums. Okay, quick note in case you don't know what prefix and suffix sums are. Prefix sums means from index 0 to an index i, you get the sum of all elements in this range for prefix sum of i. So from 0 to i, you get the sum of all those elements. Suffix sum tells you that for an index i, uh, you get the sum of all elements. From index n minus 1, so if the array is of length n, so let's say array is of length n, then you get the sum of all these elements in suffix of i. Okay, so starting from i to n minus 1, sum of all elements. Now you see here that there's one common element, which is a of i, if your array is called a. So a of i is the common element. What this block of code does is actually sum these two up. Prefix sum up to i and suffix sum up to i for all indexes i. Okay, so what you're seeing is that for all indexes i, if you do this, you're essentially doing the sum up to i from 0, the sum up to i from n minus 1. So basically, the whole array, the sum of the entire array is what you have. Plus, you've added this twice. So you have a of i. Okay, for all i. This is what this block of code will be doing. And again, what you're seeing is that sum of array is constant, of course, that's not changing. Uh, essentially, what's happening is a of i is changing for you. And from all i, you're calculating this. Now, your task is to find the minimum value here. So the minimum from i 0 to n minus 1. Uh, you need to find sum of array plus a of i. Okay, so this is the task that we have. And our block of code does that. Okay, the given block of code does that. So we see that this quantity sum of array plus a of i has to be minimized. Now sum of array is a constant, so you can't minimize that. The only thing you have remaining is a of i. And that needs to be minimized for all i 0 equal to n minus 1. Uh, this is obvious. All you need to do is find the minimum in the array then. Okay, but there are many caveats here. There, there are some special cases. Uh, when this sum exceeds 2 raised to the power 32, then you will have an overflow. Okay, that's the, that's the main point of the question. There is an overflow. So any data type that you take in any programming language has a particular limit that it can hold. So uh, apart from Python maybe, but uh, if you exceed 2 raised to the power 32, you are exceeding the limit that 32-bit integers can take. And what will then happen is whatever excess information you have is lost. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's take a 4-bit integer. Alright, this uh, has 4 placeholders, which can take either 0 or 1. So essentially you have 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 values. So that's, in fact, 2 raised to the power 4 values, 16 values that you can take, including 0. Okay, so if all these bits are 1, the value will be equal to 15, right? Now, if I add 1 to this value, 1, 1, 1, 1, if I add 1 to this in binary, what's going to happen is that there's going to be, this value should be 16, because I'm just adding 1 here in decimal, should be 16, but 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is again 0, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, Carrying 1, 1 plus 1 again, 0, carrying 1, 0 here. But you have a 4 bit number, so your result is 0. Okay, so instead of 16, you're going to get a value 0. And this is for any data type, depending on the number of bits it contains. So at 32, what's going to happen is if you have 2 raised to power 32 minus 1, or 2 raised to power 32 minus x, let's say, plus x, what you'll end up with is 0. 
Okay, so essentially, whatever value you add, whatever whatever value you have, is let's call that value v. It's being divided by two is about thirty two, and the remainder is being taken. So that's what you're getting. Okay. Now let's try to understand what is the aim of the question. The aim of the question is to find a test case where this code block fails. Okay, so the minimum which should have been is is not what the minimum which is being printed. Okay, so this is what the code block does. It finds out the sum of the array plus a of i and finds the minimum among those. Uh, the problem we have discussed already is that there might be overflows. So let's take an example. Let's take one, two, and eleven. Okay, so at index zero, you see that sum of array is uh, in total this is fourteen. So fourteen plus one is what you have at index zero. Okay, and this comes out to be fifteen. We are assuming that there's a four-bit integer, so this value does not exceed the integer limit. Now, for the second index, what we have is sum of array is still the same fourteen plus. This value two gives you sixteen. Four bit integer. There's an overflow. And so look at this. You have a value of zero. So instead of getting the value sixteen, you got a value of zero. Your program is designed to find the minimum amongst all of these a of i's. Okay. So what it's going to tell you in this program is that uh, the the minimum index having the minimum value is one. While the actual answer should have been fifteen, which is zero. Okay, and just for understanding's sake, uh, if you take index two, what will happen is you have fourteen plus eleven, which gives you twenty-five, and this is basically going to be twenty-five modulo two raised to the power four. Okay, so that is going to give you that's basically dividing twenty-five by two raised to the power four, which is sixteen, and taking the remainder. So that is nine. Nine in binary will be eight plus one. So this is what happens. Now you're you're seeing that amongst these three values, of course, you have the minimum here, and therefore the output is going to be one. Okay, by the program that has been given to us, but the output should have been zero. So this is the output being given. This is the output that should have been. We need to find test cases like this, such that The given program fails. Okay, and what's being given to us is not the array a of i. That has to be generated by us. What we have with us is the size of the array n and some constraints. So a of i can take values between some max and some, and I think uh, one is the minimum value you can take. Okay, uh, and also n is given to us, so that's fine. So. These are constraints of the problem. Let's try to find a solution. So there are many ways to solve this, but the most obvious one, uh, the one which I implemented in the contest, is that let's say you keep adding blocks, okay, blocks uh, meaning a of i to this array, okay, pretty large ones, so that at one point what you want is an overflow. One point the value, the prefix sum value exceeds the the value two raised to power thirty two. And therefore, you'll have an overflow. So, what we're essentially doing is that we are going to go on adding max size blocks in this array. After a certain point of time, you'll see that if you add a particular value x, there will be overflow. So, let's say this is index i. Uh, Zero-based indexing. What you have is max value into i plus this value x should be two raised to power. Thirty-two. After this, you can go on adding just ones, okay. And of course, assuming that x is greater than one, so the answer should be i plus one, because this is the index having the minimum. But the answer you are going to get is i. So you have successfully generated a test array where the given input code block fails. That there are some. Uh, You know issues with this kind of approach, and we'll just talk about that now. One thing is that we haven't actually considered the sum of these numbers. Okay, so that's the first mistake I made. Uh, if you if you have this kind of an approach, 
you need to consider the sum that these numbers also make. So that's also pretty simple. Uh, max into i plus x plus these numbers, let's say n minus 1 is the last index. Then you have n minus 1 minus i added to this sum. Okay, so all you need to do now is find this value x. Pretty simple. You have x is equal to 2 raised to power 32 minus n minus 1 minus i minus max into i. For this equation, what we have is two variables, i and x. So x can take the value between 10 raised to the power 5 and 1. So you need to find an i. You can binary search for it. Uh, or you can, you can do a linear scan also, that's fine. You need to find a value of i such that x falls in this range. And if it does, you know what? In fact, it can't be 1. So I'll just make this greater than 1. Okay, and this is this is an x you're searching for, for a given i. Search for that i. Once you're done, once you have an x between these two values, that's it. You just use this index i. Okay, you know the index now, i. You set that value to x. Everything before it hits max value. Max value is 10 raised to the power 5 in this question. Okay, so everything before it hits 10 raised to the power 5. So there's this big skyscraper block kind of going on. You hit a value x, and then everything after it has to be 1. So there are many approaches to this problem. Uh, we haven't gone through all of them. One of the things is you could randomly generate this array. And in case, you know, uh, the test case, the, the given code block fails, then you're done. If you're not, then you go on generating the array again and again. Okay, so uh, don't get into that too much. This is a proper approach. It works. Uh, and if you have any different approaches, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any doubts or suggestions, of course, you can leave them in the comments as well. I'll be sharing the code in the description. And the next question is going to be Chef and Cycles or Chef and some other questions, the fourth one. So let's see. See you next time.